Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're doing sort the people and in this case we're given an array of strings names and an array hikes that consists of distinct positive integers. Both arrays are of length n. In this case, for each corresponding position in names and hikes, they represent the name and height of the i-th person respectively. In this case, we have to sort names in descending order by the people's height. This is a great question for learning how to explore custom sorting, where you can sort a list by a custom condition. There's also other ways where you can zip both the name and hikes together into a list of tuples and you sort by the hikes instead. You will then proceed to iterate through every single item in this tuple to get the answer. In this case for today, we will be clearing both of these approaches and explain them step by step. For the first example, we have Mary, John and Emma. In this case, we want to sort by ascending order. So what this means is Mary, who is the tallest, will come first, followed by Emma, who comes second at 170 cm, followed by John at 165 cm. So in this case, n would be the length of names and hikes, and n in this case would be from 1 to 10 to the power of 3. Every single name in this case would have up to 20 characters and minimum 1 character, and every single height would be from 1 to 10 to the power of 5. All the names consist of lower and uppercase English letters, and all values of hikes are distinct. From experience, names is also not guaranteed to be distinct, so you might have, you might have people with the same names. So with that, let's start going through the first approach. The first approach would be to give a, let's have a, an array, array of indexes corresponding to the names. And in this case, this would be from 0, 1, all the way until n minus 1, since this is 0 indexed. And the idea is we are going to sort this array of indexes by a custom comparator. In other words, we'll be using each of these indexes to get the corresponding height and we will sort by that instead. And once we're done, we will sort, sort arrays by custom key or callable function using the index to get the hikes. And the final step is to go through the sorted indexes and get the names into a list, return that list. So this is the first approach and let's get started. So we will first define a names indexes. This will be a list of integers. In this case, this equals to i for i in range, zero to length of names. Okay, perhaps let's define this helper variable here, which represents the number of names in this case. And that's pretty much it. The next step will be to sort the names indexes. We'll be sorting this by, we'll be getting a sorted copy using the sorted um, higher order method. In this case, the first parameter is the collection that you want to sort by. In this case, this is the list. And the second key in this case is the custom comparator that we use to sort this names list by. So in this case, for readability, this is really a nameless function that takes in an index. And this index corresponds to every single number inside this collection. Using this index, we would map this index to its corresponding hikes in this case. And this way, this sorted function over here will use this height in this case, corresponding to every index to sort this instead. By default, this was sorted in this in ascending order, so we would have to do reverse equals to true, and this would cause the sorted names index to be sorted in descending order, in descending height to be specific. So once we have these indexes, we can define um, sorted names, and this will be a list of strings. And what we do is for index in sorted names indexes, we will proceed to append sorted names with the corresponding names at each index like this. And we'll return sorted names. And that's pretty much it. Let's run this against some test cases. This passed, let's submit this. And there we go. To better understand this approach, let's run this through with this test case over here. So names equals to Mary, hikes is this. So this is initially set to three, sorry. Um, this n equals to 3, and names index in this case would consist of 0, 1, 2 in this case. 
and we are going to sort this names index by the height in this case. So sorted names index would end up as since Mary comes first, this will be zero, followed by Emma, so two, then one in this case. And once we're done, we will use these indexes to get their corresponding names. At index equals to zero, we will append sorted names with Mary. Next, it would be two, and that's Emma. And finally, John for index one. Yes, so this is John. And this is the answer, and this is the first approach. Let's go through the time complexity. In this case, this um, this is pretty much constant time, assuming that this length over here uses the attribute on the list to get the names in this case. This would be O N. If N, let's, let's first define that we are getting the worst case time complexity in this case. So if N is the length of names slash hikes, will be this operation here, this list comprehension, pretty much a for loop would take O N time. In this case, n log n, Python uses team sort, which is a combination of merge sort and insertion sort. So in this case, it's going to be n log n. And it's going to take another n log n time, sorry, log n, sorry, n time to append every single name inside these sorted names over here. In summary, the time complexity is n log n plus 2n. But if we remove the lower bases, we will get n log n. For the space complexity, let's see. In this case, we store a copy of names indexes here. So this is going to take O n space. And same for this as well. In this case, this is a sorted copy. So this is O n. And finally, sorted names also stores O n space as well. So this is O 3 n in this case. But if you remove the coefficient, this will be O n. You can technically optimize this by sorting names index in place using dot sorted instead, like this. But I guess in this case, for the purpose of this practice, it's fine to leave it as it is. So that's pretty much it for the first approach. Let's go through the second approach, which is to zip names and hikes together, and we sort by the second item inside every item instead. So let's... Um, in this case, let's uh, do this for, let's say, name and height in zip, names and hikes. In this case, this zip method over, so this zip function over here would take every single corresponding item at the same index to be, to be zipped together into a tuple. In this case, we deconstruct this tuple of size two into name, into name and height. And over here, what we can do is we can create a list of name height list. It's a list of tuple. And this tuple contains a string and an integer. The string corresponding to the name and the heights as the integer. To make it easier, we can revert this actually. And this would make the sorting much easier. If we put the condition that you want to sort by at the front, naturally it will sort by this condition followed by the second condition. So now that's the case, I guess we should switch this to height name instead. And let's append this list with a tuple of height followed by name like this. The next step would be to sort this. I guess it's a good time to show you how do we sort a list in place. In this case, this would be sort. In this case, you would pass in a key. Um, actually, no, it's okay. I think this is fine. Um, sort in this case would just take the items as it is and sort them and since we place the heights first this sort function here will sort by that condition first we will also pass reverse equals to true so that we have the name tuples that have the higher height in front and once we are done we can return height name like this let's run this okay wrong answer why oh yes of course we were supposed to uh, let's define this answer string this list of strings and for uh, let's get the height and name in height name let's append this answer with just the name over here and we would return answer instead 
My mistake was that I forgot to extract only the names from this sorted list of tuples and that's why that failed at the start. But this is the second method and this passes as well. In this case, um, the approach is similar so I would skip some steps here and not trace this out with a sample test case. But in this case, let's look at the time complexity. Spoilers alert, it's going to be similar. In this case, we are spending O n time complexity here to go through all names and hikes and appending them into a list of tuples. We will also use n log n similarly to sort this and another O n to extract the names from this list of tuples. So in this case, it's going to be n log n as well, plus 2 n. But if we remove the bases, it will be O n log n. In this case, the height name, in this case, would store up to n tuples. So this is going to take O n space as well. And in this case, we sort it in place. So we save some memory over here. We reuse the same memory block here to, to sort this in place. Unfortunately, in this case, we need um, we need a list of only the names. So we define another list over here and we are appending every name inside height name. So this is going to take O n space as well. In summary, the space complexity is O to n. Removing the space, it will be O n. And that's pretty much it for this lengthy tutorial. But I hope that this was useful. If you find this useful, please give us a like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one.